Hey guys, so in this video, we are gonna compare top 4 interface which is MIUI, Oxygen OS, One UI, and finally iOS. Yes, some differences, extra features, smoothness, animation, privacy, and of course, security. So, One UI, Oxygen OS, and MIUI all got always on display, which is something must for most iOS is lacking behind and Apple think it's not much of in use, so I give users a chance to try out always on display. That's not good. See for me it helps seeing my notifications if there's any, not to mention it shows time and battery percentage too. In addition to this, MIUI, One UI and Oxygen OS comes with some extra features like showing quotes, showing moving images and also showing insight on how many times I've unlocked my phone. So this do helps a lot. Power menu is hard to reach in iOS cause you need a combination of two keys for power menu. Samsung has got similar settings but you can change it in Samsung so that is great. See these are small changes which you will notice when you will use a phone as your daily driver. It's not all about CPU or charging speed or specifications. The main focus will be on the interface when you will use a phone. Then comes volume key interface which is again advanced in one UI. MIUI has got the three main settings and so does Oxygen OS. iOS is again only a single option which is something they should change. Yeah, me I use volume controls every time before watching content or playing games cause I don't want a loud noise after opening game and all. So that is important for me. The home screen is similar in all these phones cause all got next level customization but the system widgets are different in all. iOS after iOS 14 also comes with widget option so it is nice to see that. Notification panel and quick settings again One UI, Oxygen OS and MIUI got additional options to add more tiles in quick settings. iOS is kinda stiff you cannot add more tiles from the control center itself you can do this via settings however that's again time consuming so again saying it's kinda stiff in these features and there's no advanced theming option in iOS too. The application has got different interface which we cannot compare cause it depends on your likes and dislikes, the interface, size, one handed UI, small and big icons and all and also the features depend on which phone you are using. But yeah this is the overall interface of MIUI vs Oxygen OS vs One UI vs iOS. Yeah, all these skins are fast and speedy, I am using latest flagship so depends on which phone you are using. And notification delay when I show you guys different and different UI. You can reply directly from notifications in all these OS slash UI. Samsung gets advanced option giving you suggestions on what to reply so that is awesome. Also I wanna mention you can record calls in all these UI except iOS. So that's a huge thing to note. iOS got no inbuilt call recording option which is another letdown. Animations are different but far same goes for the gestures. They all are nearly same. Dark mode can be found in all of these UI and you can see Samsung, Xiaomi, Dempsey wallpaper as well which is nice and that's system wide dark mode in all of them saves battery but the interface is different in all so that depends on your taste once again. Now one UI and MIUI on the heavy side cause of infographics, colors, more small details and that's why you may see more lag while using it on a mid-range device. Oxygen OS and iOS is on the lighter side, they believe in simplicity, you won't see much of infographics there and that's why they feel smooth. So for gamers, those who play games and stream, all these got screen recording option but all got different additional settings like in Samsung you can do selfie recording while playing games so those who wanna share their expressions and that along with microphone plus internal audio, Samsung is great. MIUI have got an exclusive 90 FPS option so that is something nice and Oxygen OS and iOS got no extra options at all. Yeah, all these can do microphone recording plus internal audio so that is very basic. In addition to this, Oxygen OS, One UI and MIUI got their own gaming mode which helps in boosting the game performance. Some even show FPS and quick D&D option. CIOS got no advanced option for that so yeah for gamers I guess. MIUI is a perfect choice because 90 FPS is must cause now games are 90 FPS and 120 FPS. Yeah even One UI is an amazing pick cause it shows your face and expressions or an image which you want to set while playing game. 
Now something which irritates me the most is bloatwares, MIUI and One UI adds additional applications like some games, some social media apps to earn money. They do this in collaboration with these companies and earn a lot of money. Samsung and Xiaomi went on next level showing ads in their internal application forcing users to click on these ads. Like in MIUI, when you install any application from Play Store via APK file, Xiaomi takes you to a security scan where they show you ads and sometimes these ads may look like download now icon or install now icon forcing users to click on these ads. And to all those saying you can disable this, you can disable that, dude. It should not be there in the first place, this one got a price and I'm paying for that. So again, if you think it's fine, you can disable this and directly you are supporting this BS. MIUI and OneUI also send notifications promoting what's in their store, so that is fine on some level. But especially MIUI got this mean internet browser which is like full of adwords and content no one want to see. Not to mention a year back, Mi browser was caught sending personal information to their servers even when using private mode. They were like you can disable this, you can disable that, again why? It should not be there at all. So yeah, all in all, iOS and Oxygen OS is pretty clean, I haven't seen any adware or bloatware. So impressive job done by OnePlus and Apple, they have my respect. Now which one is secure, which you can trust, the answer is none of them. See reason we get security patches is cause developers find many weak points where a hacker can hack your smartphone and they fix it partially patching it with security patches. You must have heard of Blueborn issue, zero day chrome issue and even iOS is not secure. The latest CVE 2021 1844 issue was recently fixed in iOS 14.1. Yeah you can search about these virus, weak spots and malwares. So the point is none of them is secure. Samsung do provides Knox which is a combination of hardware plus software that's an additional layer of privacy and it do keeps your data and connection safe to some extent which is nice initiative. Even Apple has got a secure chip inside so can say one UI with Knox and iOS is more secure than Oxygen OS and MIUI but it's not like they cannot be hacked. Again security patches plays an important role so Oxygen OS and MIUI falling behind in terms of security patches and Samsung is on the top list right now. Some exclusive features in all iOS got this ecosystem where we have iMessages for iOS users. You can connect and transfer data so fast while using a Mac and AirPods, Apple Watch all having a seamless connectivity. So all in all it's simple, it's fast, it's secure, got not so many functions which is fine for basic users, those who use phone for business, calling, iMessage, fast wireless Mac transfer and all. So best choice without any second thought. No always on display, no call recording, no advanced option is definitely let down for high end users and I wish they add it in the future. Now Oxygen OS is a combination of simplicity, speed and perfect features. Many even say it works more than years old phone as well. I've seen many using Oxygen OS GSI and they say it's the fastest UI in Android. So it is fast, got perfect features and no adware, no bloatware make it the top level skin. One UI is like a secure UI with tons and tons of features, more than any UI I've seen ever. The edge control panel, tons of micro settings, the animations are really smooth. But due to so many infographics and heavy interface, it may lag a little. But again it's a package of features and some are used to this environment, interface and ecosystem. Yeah, not to mention we have DeX which many business people use. So yeah, it's a nice skin but Samsung is lately degrading it with the adwares and bloatwares which is not good. MIUI is somewhere between One UI and Oxygen OS. It's faster than One UI for sure. Got advanced gaming option and the interface also nice and has lot of features. But this all gets overshadowed by the amount of ads they are showing, the amount of bloatwares they are including in a phone. The recent security issue makes it a not so secure phone as well. So yeah this is all guys, thanks so much for watching, like subscribe and I'll meet you guys in the next one. Peace out.